oh we have this um congratulations i guess to a cold war for their collaboration with a beats they've got a pair of studio free wireless headphones coming out um adorned with the sort of signature a cold war industrial slate speckled kind of pattern print all over the absolute headphones himself obviously you've got a cool picture here of samuel ross the founder of a cold war wearing them looking all serious and austere um i'm a big fan of the brand i'm a big fan of him i think he's a really cool interesting and very remarkable young man in terms of how much how he's been able to create this brand from the ground up especially when you consider the humble beginnings of kind of spray painting and dip dyeing air force ones and cutting up bits of practice fabric and overlocking it and whatnot and having exposed seams to i'm just really DIY hands-on kind of stuff and now it's gone from that to turning into what I think is basically the UK's version of like Imperial Armani right that's how kind of powerful and big I think this brand could be it could end up being a brand that he kind of maybe later on down the line sells and just kind of kind of or maybe operates from or operates in the backgrounds or in the shadows so it's very impressive in that regard but he does have this weird thing where he pulls these weird faces he's always like frowning or doing his weird like you know eyebrow things when he's filming videos and whatnot online or taking pictures but you know i guess everyone's got their thing when it comes to taking pictures drake has that little duck thing lips he does he's got that weird eyebrow thing maybe i have that weird little open mouth thing where i kind of take a picture from down below but yeah i think the picture itself is fucking cool all that thing regardless so yeah a beat studio free wireless set of headphones um look pretty cool on his head especially with all the tattoos and shit um i like it i like everything about it again just a shame it's a beat headphones you know what i mean because they're pretty garbage but um in terms of a collaboration and in terms of the brand story and in terms of where they're going this definitely represents a step in the right direction in terms of kind of introducing uh, a cold war to the maybe general consumer um to the mainstream quote unquote and again like i said i have no doubt that it will be as big if not bigger than brands like armani in terms of the scale and the kind of product offering and the customer because i think a lot of the customers that kind of bought a cold war early on are maturing and growing with the brand over the years and when they start offering different things different silhouettes different cuts different shapes different textures different patterns um you know i'm sure they will kind of progress with them as well and go along the journey and again because this guy Simon Ross, is really interactive he's really kind of thoughtful um there's a lot of kind of again um ideas and attention to detail that goes into the entirety of the brand i'm sure it's going to be a success um let's see what Simon Ross has to say about the collaboration himself he said here courtesy of hypebeast um the focus of our beats a cold war collaboration was to convey a universal material language that is both sensitive and recognizable to all ensuring a minimalistic sensibility carried through the process he does have a, also a tendency to do these word salads again i don't begrudge it because you know he's an artist he's a creative he has to kind of speak in these kind of um he basically has to speak like this in order to, to convey in order to basically because yeah because how else can you talk about creativity how else can you talk about innovation how else can you talk about art in general without using these words salady words right because in general you are talking about things that are quite ephemeral they're quite hard to you know um grasp or to kind of put in layman's language for lack of a better term but you know whatever it continues i want to produce a product language suitable for everyday use precision and specifically uh and specificity became unspoken rules throughout the process from product to packaging um, new print making techniques were developed with beats to offer a two-tone uh, pantia composed of slate grays and wash chalks the semblance of both offer and texture um hand touch that reflects the sensation the sensation of a hand engaged in raw materials and for manufactured materials a sensory experience had exist had to exist across physical touch and alongside autist uh, uh, acoustic autistic um I'm, I'm autistic you know what would be you know what's true though about this as well they are very unique looking for a beat set of headphones or maybe headphones in general you don't really see people going down the street with like a slate speckled set of headphones right the branding is really cool too and especially for the beat shape you're definitely going to recognize them right they're going to they're going to stand out like a sore thumb from afar and also you know what would have been awesome to see if they were able to do some sort of like daniel arsham type collaboration where they were able to maybe cast a set of beats by again maybe that would have been a bit naff a little bit you know 
overdone because it looks like Daniel Arsham has basically moved away from doing all those kind of concrete casting type of sculpture things that he does that kind of deteriorate over time or as you keep moving and bits of the actual piece fall off and you know it kind of you know um, changes the representation of what it actually looks like or what it basically says so maybe that would have been a bit trite or a little bit overdone but it would have been nice to have seen an actual slate concrete set of headphones constructed maybe with like a wire frame or structure inside them to kind of keep the shape or something those kind of i think that would have been really great to see but regardless we moved on building a literal link between the environment inspiration material function enable us to project um to enable us to project shared hyper local hyper global influences as a keystone for a universal community by this i mean through cinematography the shifting of the environments and location the catalyst of music playing a major one transporting a listener or transforming a physical environment a cold war beats um, studio free wireless re released on october 15th for cold war channels before hitting the apple store web store wow they're even gonna be sold at apple mate this is a big move for them man congratulations and if i'm not mistaken they've got like an advert or like a little pitch um i think the official advert has got um little dirk in it and he's wearing a cold war um what you call it vest body warmer vest thing as well in the shot it's fucking awesome um so check that out as well if you haven't seen it, i'm pretty sure it's on them, their instagram account but yeah this was going to be available on october 15th big up them i like the look of them they look pretty interesting again just a shame it's beats because the quality of the headphones isn't that great um sound is a bit shit especially once you get into headphones and you get into being a bit of an audio file or you tap into that kind of community you'll quickly realize how terrible the headphones are but in terms of a stylistic approach in terms of a branding effort in terms of a marketplace thing um they could have this is definitely a great fit 100 percent a great fit for what they want to do going forward i love it like that's an awesome shot in it really awesome shot with the grays and the contrast here the tattoos looks fucking awesome so yeah big up them big up them